love the sun or hate the sun, it is always there up in the sky. Now in this video, we'll be touching about sun damage, otherwise known as photo damage or photo aging. And I'll share with you some tips and tricks to actually minimize the amount of damage that the sun causes on your skin. And at the same time, break a couple of myths that you might think is actually true about the sun, which is actually not. However, before I continue with this particular video, ladies and gentlemen, we look through our analytics and we realize that most of you are actually not subscribers for the channel. So if you wouldn't mind just clicking the subscribe button, it will help push more contents like this to people like yourself and you might end up helping more people than you ever imagined. Good day, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to my channel whereby we discuss everything about skin, skincare, and break the myths and teach you how to look after your skin properly. So in this particular topic, we'll be talking primarily about sun damage, the common misconceptions about sun damage, and the things that you can do at home to protect your skin against the sun. So first up, what is sun damage? Sun damage, otherwise known as photoaging, is due to prolonged exposure to UV rays that comes from the sun. The UV rays causes long-term damage, and you might not be able to see it instantly, but over time, the structures of your skin actually alters. So let's talk about how sun damage occurs in the first place. First up, there is UV rays coming from the sun. Now, there are three types of UV rays, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Now, UVC is typically filtered out by the ozone layer, so you are not actually exposed to them. However, there is UVB and UVA, and they both cause significant damage to your skin. So here are six different signs of photoaging, otherwise known as sun damage. Number six, the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines prematurely. Don't get me wrong, fine lines and wrinkles occur to everyone with age. But increased exposure to UV rays will damage the collagen and elastin production in your skin, causing premature formation of wrinkles and fine lines. Number five, the formation of age spots, otherwise known as solar lentigos. Solar lentigos are flat, brown, or dark spots that occurs on skin exposed to the sun. They are the direct result of increased melanin production to protect your skin against those harmful UV rays. They occur anywhere on your body, but most importantly, they always occur on your face. Number four, uneven skin tone. Now, the skin might appear dull, less glowing, a bit molted, and you have areas of hyperpigmentation whereby there's more sun exposure and hypopigmentation, areas with lesser sun exposure. And eventually, the texture can also change, can be a bit leathery or a little bit rough. The third sign, the appearance of spider veins. Spider veins, otherwise known as telangiectasias, are small visible blood vessels on your skin that occurs due to chronic exposure to the sun and due to the damage of UV rays on your collagen, thinning of your dermis, making those veins more obvious. Number two, the loss of elasticity. Your skin loses the ability to snap back due to the reduced production of elastin. And elastin is easily destroyed by UV rays. And the number one sign that you have photo damage, an appearance of actinic keratosis. Now these are scaly lesions that occur in your skin and they are precancerous lesions. When these actinic keratosis appear on your skin, it's a serious sign that you need to protect your skin and see a dermatologist as soon as possible. So what are the myths or misconceptions around protecting your skin against the sun? Hey, before I continue with this particular video, do you know any other antioxidant skin serums that helps reverse sun damage? Here are the top four myths that I hear every day on the internet, which is absolutely not true. Myth number one, you only need sunscreen on sunny days. Love it or hate it, UV rays can actually penetrate the cloud. So even though you do not get direct exposure to the sun, you are still directly exposed to UV rays. Myth number two, tanning is beautiful. In many countries in the world, having a nice bronze tan equals being healthy and wealthy. But did you know that it is actually causing long-term damage to your skin and you're increasing the risk of getting skin cancer? Number three, people with darker skin tones do not require sun protection. It is true that people with darker skin tones have more melanin, means more protection against UV rays, but your skin is still susceptible to sun damage and premature aging. And the fourth myth that I always hear, sun damage only affects your appearance. The truth of the matter is, sun damage can lead 
to melanomas or skin cancer, which could affect your health overall and shorten your lifespan. So what are the prevention strategies or treatments that you can do? I'm going to split into two parts. One is home prevention strategies and the second one is clinical treatments that you can get from a lot of clinics. So here are the five prevention strategies that you can do at home. At number five, you need to use sunscreen every day. Choose a broad spectrum sunscreen SPF anywhere between 35 to 50 with a PA 3 to 4 plus and apply it at least once a day. All you need to do is apply roughly two finger lengths of sunscreen on your entire face. And if you have the time and the effort, reapply it right before lunchtime. Number four, wear protective clothing. On the days that you know you're going to be exposed to the sun, you might want to wear long sleeve clothing and even a headgear like a hat to protect your skin against direct UV exposure. And furthermore, you can also protect your eyes and the skin around your eyes by wearing sunglasses. Number three, seek shades when it's possible. The peak hour of UV radiation is anywhere between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So from this particular time, stay indoors as long as you can. Number two, start using antioxidant serums and supplements. Opt for antioxidant serums that contains either vitamin C or vitamin E and apply it on your skin during the daytime because the antioxidants in this serum will help negate the negative effects of the UV rays. But the best way to protect your entire body against the sun is to use an antioxidant supplement. Antioxidant supplements like this one right here is called Light Up, contains botanical extracts like pine bark extract, fern extract, and L-cysteine that protects your skin against those harmful UV rays. And the number one trick to protect against the sun, especially for those who are lazy to apply sunscreen, you can always opt for a moisturizer with SPF. Now my motto is, whatever that gets you to apply SPF on your skin is better than forgetting your SPF every day. So what happens when you already have sun damage? So here are four treatments that you can seek from any dermatology clinics worldwide. Number one, chemical peels. Typically, chemical peels that contain glycolic acid is great to reverse sun damage as it increases exfoliation of your skin and triggers new skin growth. Secondly, laser therapy. Laser therapies like Long Pulse and Q-Switch NDX help target those pigmented areas and reverse sun damage on your skin. However, if you have no access to laser therapies, you can always try IPL, otherwise known as Intense Pulse Light. And number four, you can always opt for microneedling. Microneedling triggers your skin to renew itself, triggers more collagen growth, and speeds up the auto-exfoliation of your skin. So here's my conclusion. Sun damage is inevitable, however, it's preventable. By applying sufficient sunscreen every day, minimize direct exposure to the sun, and start using antioxidant serums and supplements, you'll be able to reverse and minimize the sun damage that has occurred to your skin. However, if you notice weird or suspicious dots or lesions on your skin, please go visit your nearest dermatologist. That's the end of our video. If you like this particular video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment right below. What are the tips and tricks that you have learned to reverse sun damage? That's it from me. I'm Dr. Inki, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.